Find the IP address of this machine. Is it static or dynamic? Copy the results to desktop.txt format. Okay. Easy one. So we're going to find the IP address of this machine and we're going to see if it's static or dynamic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run CMD. I'm going to run CMD. Then I'm going to go ahead and do run the command IP config. Mm -hmm. I think I'm frozen. Hey. If somebody else is connected, please disconnect. I think I feel like maybe two, two people are fighting right now. Anybody else on, on the machine? Are you good right now? Or is it still frozen? I'm unable to, to do anything right now. Let me go ahead and disconnect and I'm gonna reconnect. Okay. So, so we're going to go ahead and find the IP address of this machine. Is it static or dynamic? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit uh, IP config. I'm going to enter that. Uh, let me see here. So let me just go. Does that give bit. you information about DS, DSTB being static or not? Yeah. So let me go go a little bit deeper. So let me go IP config for such all. All right. Cool. So let me see. IP4 address. Um, Submit mask. So it gives me some information. So IP before submit mask, fault gateway, and DHCP server. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna go ahead and check, um, see what this machine is on. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, you can go to the GUI. Oh, I got you. From, from the command line, is it on DHCP or is it on static? Let me go ahead and check. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you a hint. Read what's on the screen. The answer is there. You just got to look at it carefully. So it uh, looks like the DHCP is enabled. So this is, um, it is dynamic. It is dynamic. Good job. And how would you put this in a text, uh, copy this to a desktop? How, how would you do that? Uh, let me see if I can copy and paste. No, I'm just fine. So let me go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and Google that real quick. That's good. You're telling me that because it's very important. And 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 so basically, what he's trying to do right now: how do I copy this text to a uh, this uh, output into a text? And it's very important. Why? Because when you start working in a little bit more advanced jobs, or you work with engineers they go on a fly, they go very fast and they feel like you know this stuff. They, they will have this mentality that you know this stuff. They will ask you, can you output this information for me quickly? Can you output this? Can you do this? And now those are skills. Those are the skills that are gonna make you tense then, right? Oh, you know, damn, how do I do this? So try to learn these three very small things because that's how I felt when, when I was working with a network engineer and he's like, can you output this whole uh, you know, uh, command for me? And I'm like, how do you do that? Uh, he's like, oh, okay, let me show you how to do this. Okay. So just save yourself from that. I mean, it's not a big thing. You can go and copy paste it, no problem. There's not, not a bad thing. It's just that you're just gonna feel good. Feeling good in IT is always a good thing, right? When you know a little more. Okay, so for my findings, let me go ahead and run this command. So IP big. Let me see, let me go ahead and try this. Is this gonna put it on desktop? It is. I believe no, because I'm not specifying where I'm gonna see. You can get help from other people too, right? You have you have Google, you have other people. Let me see here. Because you just saw someone who did the command before you. And they did output it, it somewhere else. Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, one second. So let me see. Brandon, welcome, Brandon. People love your sysadmin video, by the way. Um, 
so with that being said, let me see if I could put this through the from the last one. Good, I'm eager. I'm looking at the home. All right. Um, He's on call, so he's on and off. All right, you know, uh, and I believe text file. Yeah, this was like test or demo dot txt. Oh no! All right, text is denied. When you have an access denied like that, what happens then in a command line? That I don't have the permission? No. Uh, I'm going to ask for. Um... That's fine, Hemi. I got it. So don't get stuck. Remember, the more time it goes after two minutes, is, then we are going into the red area. Okay. So it looks like, let me go ahead and run as admin. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oops, sorry about that. So go type in CMD again. Sorry. Let me go ahead and run as admin. Mm -hmm. so that gives me those privileges. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that again. So I can be config for such all. And then let me go ahead and define where I want to save it. All right, can you confirm? Let's go ahead and confirm. Let me go into the File Explorer. Mm -hmm. uh, this PC, let me go into that C drive. And perfect. Right here. Great job. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel it. Go ahead and disconnect, and we are.